Foundation Universe. You eyes do not deceive you. You are seeing the Bronze Bomber, the Blueprint Champion, live on your telephone screens. Because I'm doing something that has never been done. The Blueprint Champion hosting the Blueprint Show. And you see, this is not any Blueprint Show. This is the Go Home Show for starting point. So you know it's going to be an action-packed, filled night with a lot of surprises. Because you know that foundation is the number one wrestling organization all of this community. Nobody tops us. Nobody is better. And if you do find somebody better, guess what? We'll destroy you. But with that being said, let's get to the action. Because our first match is two people that know each other very well. They have history here in the foundation. So let's get to it. The Vagabond versus Masters of Illusions. Let's get to the match. Vagabond, my old friend, my old enemy. You know, being back in the land of the living has got me the chance to go back and look at everything that everybody has done since I have been away. And I'm sad to say that you are not the same man that I used to face. They put us in a match before the biggest show of the year and I know what you're going to do because you're going to come out with no effects and you're going to try to talk your way out. The truth, Vagabond. You call yourself a different breed. I call you the lazy one. But you have that stance now that you have been buried so much. That you have fallen so much that you try to get back up and you just don't have enough strength. And inside your mind is the real chaos, Vagabond. You have allowed the chaos around you to control your own mind, and thus you are a double-minded man. And you can't choose from one moment to the next what you really want to do. So Vagabond, you want to put on this front that you're this all-powerful being and you have already been proven that you're just a bitch that needs to be euthanized. But see, I'm... I do have mercy. I can put for one second, for one moment, I can put aside that I'm not going to mess you up. No, I'm going to take my time and just let you talk. Let you shift through the things that you want to shift through because, Vagabond, you have a much bigger problem than me. And I could get involved in the affairs, but I'm going to let him show you just how much you have fallen back upon. You see, because I've been in the same ring with Sness too, and Sness knows what it takes. But there is going to be this one thing I want to tell you. I want to leave you, Vagabond, because I know your mind's running. Why don't you choose, Vagabond? Why don't you choose to retire? Because obviously, you're an old man who has seen and done so many things in the last little bit. The strength has failed you. The strength has gone away. So, come on. Well, Master of Illusion, welcome back. I 
I guess you've somehow risen back from the dead. We thought you were long since forgotten within the sands of time at the hands of your former stablemates within the high demand. Welcome back. But it's unfortunate that you're facing me because Master of Illusion what chance do you actually have of beating me? I am simply at a different level. You and I know each other far too well, but the landscape of the Foundation has changed several times since you passed, and now you're back. Now you think you have something special. Our story goes all the way back to the inception of the Foundation. Now here's the problem, Master Illusion. You think you're going to beat me, you think you're going to hit me with something that I haven't heard or seen before, but I know all of your tricks, I know all of your games, I know all of the illusions that you like to hide behind. None of that's going to work, unfortunately, because I am simply at a different level. And you're going to see that real soon, my friend. Because I finally get to close the chapter of Vagabond versus Master of Illusion once and for all. And after that, I get to my old little friend S-N-E-S Sness. Who's been demanding an audience with me for a very, very long time. It's rather unfortunate that he keeps doing this, but he's going to get the devil. He's going to get burned. And unfortunately, he's simply writing a check that he just can't cash. Because Master of Illusion, I, I got a little something to show you, a little trick that I learned along the way in three, two. Try to throw a shot. Try to throw a shot. Try. 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 Because if you do, because if you do, because if you do, your fate, your fate is not a good one. It's not a good one. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! Fight! One! Vagabond, it has been too long since we last met. Sure, we passed each other by here and there, but now it is time for me to beat you once and for all. I believe it was Magneto in Genesis's X-Men that said, Sometimes, you have to crush your enemies where they live. <laughs> so, that is why next week, starting point two, I'm coming to your home. You better be prepared, because Earth-9 Deathmatch, I think the odds are in my favor. And I will have no problem finishing you. Oh my god, was that SNES attacking Vagabond? Oh my god, and now SNES is leaving to Earth 9? Oh my god, Vagabond is left in a bloody mess here on Earth. And this match is going to be crazy. A Earth 9 match? This got me interested to see what is involved in this goddamn match. I'm so hyped for it. And it's happening next week at starting point. But you see, let's move on to the next match on this beautiful blueprint. And that is a six-man scramble preview match. And if you guys don't know what the six-pack uh, challenge is, it's basically six competitors fighting to see who gets a title shot at the World Heavyweight title and me, the Blueprint Champion. 
So let's take it to the ring as we got Doc Thompson versus Dante Black. Well, if it isn't Dante Black, I heard you specifically requested this match for management. And when it was originally brought to my attention, I said no. Because I am preparing for the six-pack challenge at starting point. You had all the time in the world to ask for this match, Dante. And you choose the most piss-poor time in the fucking world. Why is that? Why? Trying to make a name for yourself off of me before starting point? But then I came to the realization, you know what? I will take the match against Dante. I've heard a few things about him, but I really don't personally care. There's nothing new to him. But if I can gain a strategic advantage over him for our match at the Six Pack Challenge, I surely will definitely do that. So that is why we are here, Dante. I hope you understand that. But back to my original point, Dante. There's nothing original about you. You're just like every other dark and ominous person here in the Foundation. You can sit in a dark, secluded room. You can talk your long soliloquies like your Romeo talking to Juliet. Well, as for me, everybody loves me. Well, at least I've been told. I have been known to be the funniest person I know, if you ask me. But here's the thing. I make things a little more interesting for people. I say funny things because it captivates our audience. Yes, you have some very good points, but there comes a time where you have to change up a little bit. The only thing unique about you is your goofy-ass hair color. I mean, hell, I'm sure dyeing your hair constantly could not be good for your hair roots. I mean, if you want to end up like me before I started taking minoxidil by the time you're whatever the hell you are, that's fine. Be my fucking guest. You ain't gonna ruffle my feathers. But, light yourself up a little bit, son. Ain't nothing bad about this world. I, I dare you. Nothing is terrible. This place, this home, is peaceful. But you know, Dante, here's the thing. After all is said and done on Blueprint, you best be on your A-game when it comes to starting point. A big opportunity is at stake. And we surely wouldn't want you to miss it. So just like everybody else is hoping, you best bring your A-game. Because you're surely going to fucking need it. I guarantee you that. Whew. All right, Dante, I hope you understand you will not make a name off me. I will just put you in the long line of people that I've gone through here in the foundation. Tally after tally. The notches on his belt are numbered 19 and adding one more. Because I've got the big iron on my hip. The following diamond day. Now this week for my first national championship. Not getting the job done is simply put one thing only. They couldn't get past the nightmare. The is tribal team. One thing, and that's nobody is out alive. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the foundation, we're getting closer and closer to starting point, and this is just a warm up, just a preview of the anarchy, the chaos that's going to happen. The Reaper Dante Black is scheduled to make an appearance, and the one that falls upon today happens to be a victim, another casualty that needs to be done in the middle of that squared circle. In my domain, my church, where I simply go out there every single day, I show up, I show up, I prove to everyone that I say that I am. I'm greatness and it's motherfucking greatness. I am the one, the only, the astonishing, the Reaper Dante Black, the devil himself. And you see, I have an appointment today with a doctor. A doctor who thinks he's gonna take my teeth out 
one by one. Seriously, dissect my mind. Dissect the physical and mental status that I have. When you're sadly mistaken there, Doc, let me go grab you a carrot and let you chomp on it because you're nothing more than a doc than Bugs Bunny is right there because I'm going to own you in that ring. I'm gonna make you look like a pet. A pet that knows how to bathe its orders to sit and roll over and die like the good old yeller did. Because it's exactly what's happening is you're being taken out to the trash. You're being left on the corner on Tuesday to be picked up, dumped all the way back down on Sunday to get the shelf straight back down your throat. So no one else in this whole goddamn company has to hear, has to smell the putrid waste that comes out of your cum guzzling bitch ass little mouth. If you're taking me lightly in this match, Doc, then you're going to fail every single step of the way. Don't get it wrong, you're a great competitor. You're one of the best in this business. You're one of the best in the foundation. Now, I don't know much about you because this is our first time going up against each other. So I'm playing this by ear. I'm going in there with all guns drawn to take one shot, and it's the one shot that never misses. I don't know about you, but what I've heard pass from you, Doc, is you take your shots as many as you can, and you do nothing but fire blanks every single time, trying to hit your target, but every single time you miss. Just like when you try to make the surgical cuts, you can't cut the straight line, you can't get the job done. Simply one thing. It's going to end you in this match, Doc. It ain't going to be the Reaper Scythe. It ain't going to be the Nightfall Super Kick. It's going to be the NGO way when I take your head clean off. And there's simply one explanation for that, Doc. No way gets out alive. And your winner is Doc. Thompson, what a big win for him and him going in to starting point with the momentum in this six pack challenge because you guys already know the winner of the six pack challenge gets a world heavyweight title shot at either Savior or Jay Briggy, depending on who wins that starting point. And second place gets to face me, the blueprint champion. And this is all happening at HSP's Championship Showcase happening June 15th and June 16th. But if you guys want to know more, we have a video package to show you right now of this beautiful show that's going on. Hit the film. Single day, put it to the test. This championship showcase is gonna be a banger. You have six different companies choosing their best artists to compete to see who is the best, you know, organization all around this e fed world. You have HSP, you got Elite Marks, you got Foundation, you got you, you know, you got the other guys. There's a whole bunch of different companies in this goddamn showcase. So I hope you guys are ready June 15th and June 16th. But let's move on with our next match on the blueprint. And this is a trilogy championship preview. Because at starting point, we have El Wapo, my best friend in the world, old school, and the reigning and defending trilogy champion, Tosta Damas, all going at each other to see who's going to be the next trilogy champion. But this preview match, we have the champion himself, Tosta Damas, going one on one with old school. So let's get right to the match. Tomster Damas. Once again, we stand face to face, toe to toe, in a matchup that many would call the rematch of the century because, well, let's be real. The first match we ever had in another organization, there was controversy. 
But see, without that in hand, I move on. Right here, you have something that I'm after, the Trilogy Championship. But tonight, it's not about championships. It's about pride. It's about who can get over on the other. Who can prove to the world that they're the best in this business and you're looking at him. Now, while many say, Tomster Domus, the future of the promo realm, I'm going to tell you the truth, Tomster. I just don't see that in you. You talk about how the future is going to be better than the past. Remember, the future never existed if it wasn't for guys like me in the past. And guys like me who retrofied the promo realm when it was written long ago and became filmed right here live and in living color is because of guys like me. And the way we do it, promo verbiage, is the way it's done. Not... Glaring at a title and acting like you're spaced out for 36 seconds because, see, that's a loss of a promo. Four minutes and you really only have one minute and 30 seconds of a real promo. The rest of it's dancing around going, <gasps> with big eyes and crap like that. I don't do that. I give you something verbally every single time. Why didn't I hype? Because you didn't deserve it here. How's it feel? I'm not giving you any material to roll on here because tonight, right here at the Blueprint, I'm going to prove to the world that your win was a fluke against me, and I'm going to show them why next time we meet for that trilogy championship, I'm going to rip it right off your damn shoulders, take that little tiny belt of yours, throw it in the trash, and show the foundation what a real championship looks like and a real champion looks like. Now, see, this may be a little bit of a bittersweet revenge for me, but for you, this is unfortunately a proving ground because, see, you're the champion. Everybody says, oh, he's a champion. He's got everything to lose. He's got everything to prove. To prove you're the champion, you must win as the champion. You can't walk around with a little tiny belt and call yourself a champion until you've beaten contenders in your way. Winning the title is easy. Keeping the title is the tricky part. And when we get to that match, oh my God, I'm going to show you some tricks you've never saw. And don't worry, I'm not going to break out the low rider. I'm not going to break out any of the cool aesthetics that you call stupid these days because, well, I guess loud music, flashy blinky lights, and a bunch of stupid verbiage that you new promo artists use make no sense to me. Because, see, the old style is a style that solidified champions and solidified championships. And today's promo artist, I'm sorry, your relevancy isn't that good. It isn't that high stake. It isn't something I go to the group and go, oh my God, can you believe he's here? No, because I come into the groups like this and go, oh my God, he's here. And he's holding the title. How? So, I plan to rectify that here in the foundation and everywhere else in the promo realm. I'm on a train. And it's called the train of school. And I'm going to run everybody's asses over that's in my way. And starting with you, Tonster, I'm going to prove to the world why not only yesterday, but today and in the future, I'm the greatest of all time. And you, you're just a spot filler. You're a guy who thinks he's a promo artist. You're a pretender trying to be a contender. And hell, let's be real. The only reason you're a champion is because they can't stand the four horsemen. And well, sadly, when I come back around, I'm taking that title and bringing it right back to our camp. So I hope you're ready, Tonster. This is only a preview of the ass whipping I'm about to serve up to you in a trilogy match. Hmm. I'd say, have a nice day and old school out and all that good stuff. But Tonster, I figure I can give him some dead air too because well, that's all you deliver. Toaster Domus, the psychological assassin, the master of destruction, and the trilogy champion here in the foundation. And I have the distinct honor and privilege to go up against a man I respect very much in old school. I respect the man, I like the man. No, Bartholomew. No, I, I, I don't like speaking about my accomplishments elsewhere in the EFED world. No, I don't like doing that. I never do, do stuff like that. Disgusting behavior. I'm not going to embarrass the man in front of everyone like I did there. I know I destroyed him. Nobody needs to know that. Nobody needs to know that old school. I'm gonna do 
but I did there, here, in foundation, right now, and at starting point. He's not a very shop dressed man. Or... <laughs> A ZZ Top joke! I get it! This is the beard! He looks like a ZZ Top! Yeah! Yeah, it's all yellow! It's all yellow stain! <laughs> yeah, it's from all the cigarettes he smokes! Yeah! Have another cigarette! Have another cigarette, old school! And some coffee and caffeine while you're at it! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, he looks like he just gave Felicio to Homer Simpson! <laughs> Enough of the jokes. Enough of the jokes, my darling. All seriousness, old school. What the hell are you gonna do at starting point by yourself? Because the foundation, just like elsewhere, you need help. You can't handle it on your own. What do you have, like, seven people with you now? <laughs> and you're such a poser. You damn poser. With your four horsemen music. Come on, man. You're a walking 80s promo. And I know what you're going to do. Same old school. <laughs> You're gonna stand about like this sideways, uh, you know, like, like this. And I'm old school. I'm I'm one half of Fear the Bears. Oh, that was the other place, but now you're uh, one seventh of the Seven Horsemen. <laughs> Same promo, different day, different opponent. You need more than that. You need way more than that. To beat Tonks and Thomas and to be Trilogy Champion. Because if you think I'm going down, you got another thing coming. Now it's time. And that ain't a threat. It's a promise. From the Thomas! <laughs> you like that one? I know. We're gonna go fix the time. Couple more defenses. It's gonna be great. I just, I can't wait. Your winner, Toaster Thomas! Oh my god, what a match! Both competitors fought their hearts out. It was a very, you know, very hard fought match. But that's just a preview of what's to come because it's gonna be a slobber knock in that trilogy championship match. And you know, it's all gonna go down at Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for You've been searching in the dark, sweat soaking through the floor And buried in your bones, there's an ache that you can't ignore Taking your breath, stealing your mind And all that was real is left behind Don't fight it, it's coming for you, running at you It's only this moment, don't care what comes after your fever dream, can't you see, getting closer Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open It's the preacher and the puppet and your blind devotion There's something breaking at the brick of every wall That's all that you know So tell me, do you wanna go? Where it's covered in all the colors and lights Where the blood away is all
Foundation Universe, let me tell you something. If you guys were hyped for Starting Point, then that video package should get you hyped. Because Starting Point is the biggest show of the year for Foundation. And all eyes will be on us. So let's not disappoint. We have big main event caliber matches that can main event anywhere else in any other company. And you see, we have one person that will be in a big match on Starting Point. And that's Jay Briggy because he takes on Savior for the World Heavyweight Championship. But you see, Jay Briggy is facing Savior's teammate and buddy in high demand. And this is a fate, a fate rematch because we got Dax Snow taking on Jay Briggy. And it's up next. Let's get to the film. Briggy, it's deja vu, it's karma, it's whatever you want to call it, because time and time again, we just keep coming back to each other, and I don't get it. For some reason, the powers that be think we have some grievance to settle. They think something between us is not yet finished. And you know what? I might have to agree. I may have to agree on this one, because last I remember, you won. And in our very first singles match, I won. So as far as I'm concerned, the split between us is one to one. And we need to settle this. We need to figure out who the better man is. We need to find out who truly is the pillar. Because I don't think it's you. I don't think you're the pillar of the foundation. I don't think you are as good as you say you are. I think you're still a jackass deep down inside. And as far as I'm concerned, I am ready to show everyone exactly who you are. Well, here we go again, Dax Snow. The Foundation just loves putting you and I together, don't they? We faced off in several big concept matches here, singles matches. You've beaten me, and most recently I've beaten you, and I took you out of that Pillars of Fate tournament. I'm sure you would love to get some revenge here tonight. A little bit of verbal violence back at old Jay Briggy. But you see, that's just not in the cards tonight. Because I really don't have anything left to say to you, Dacky boy. I've said everything I needed to say. So I really just came here to do two things, bud. And that is smoke some weed and kick some ass. Oh, well, fuck. It looks like we're all out of weed, so we're going to plan B, bitch. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Oh, you, that's, what we're, that's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> oh, big boy don't want to stay down, does he? Bring it on, Dak. You want some more? <laughs> now it's time for that break me, bitch. Well, the damage is done. I don't need to stay here and catch a charge. <laughs> Savior, what are you doing here? If you know it's best for you, you would stay on that side of the room. Because if you come over here, boy, you just might not make it to starting point. Briggy, you better back away from the saint that is Dax Snow. Because if you don't, we'll call the lawyers of Hyde and Man. We'll get a restraining order put on your loony ass. Punching people. What's wrong with you? If there was a restraining order on you, there is no match at starting point too, buddy. You know what? I'll do one bigger. I'll do one better. I'll call Anonymous. We'll shut the whole damn show down. No starting point for anybody. And it's your fault. Of course I know who Anonymous is. Got high friends in all kinds of places, you stupid idiot. Punching people. It's all calm down. Wait a minute. Maybe you didn't have a bad idea, Brig. Maybe we should have a little tussle. Seeing that there's two of us and only one of you. No, 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 no. Now this, oh, this is not how this shit's about to go down. I'll tell you that right motherfucking here and now. Matter of fact, you two, you two need to commence to back it up before I start to smashing your fucking melons in like my name is Gallagher, son. Now, I don't know, I don't know who in the fuck you think you are, Savior, or why in the hell you think that title gives you the right, gives you the privilege to come out here and do whatever the fuck you want. But you're about to find out right here now that just like the streets, you should have looked both ways before crossing me. You want to come out here looking like a Cherokee hair tampon, running your mouth, bumping your gums about all your accolades and accomplishments. But tell me, tell us all, what have you actually done? What have you actually accomplished 
besides hiding in your compound, trying to avoid the repercussions and consequences of the actions of your stablemates, hoping that it doesn't blow back on you. You have the audacity to come out here and call yourself a savior when there's not a pious bone in your body, when the only thing you've been saving is your own ass. You've been so busy trying to protect the reputation of high demand that you've become everything that high demand stood against. And now, in an act, a desperate act of cowardice, you want to come out here and jump my boy Briggy? Nah, I don't think so. It don't work like that. You about to get your fucking wig split. Matter of fact, if you don't get the fuck up out of my ring right now, I'm going to drop your ass faster than that can shimmy, boy. Oh my god, of course it's you still. You know... Stop the presses. Stop the presses. The honorary oose of high demand is here. Make some noise. It's TK3. Yeah. And I am... I cannot believe I'm in the face of tag team royalty right now. It's the lifeblood, Briggy and Steel. Oh man, man, oh man. I gotta get my camera ready and take a, you know, complimentary photo because we all know this is doomed to fail. This is a reunion that never should have gotten off the ground. The, the, amount of, the amount of loyalty Steel has for Briggy is uncomparable to the amount of loyalty I have for high demand. And at starting point, I'm gonna prove that because now, Steel, you and I are finally destined to clash. One on one, mano y mano. How do you feel about that? <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Welcome to the party, Trent. And I'm glad, I'm ever so glad to see you finally took your balls out of Buckshot's pocket. It's just too bad. Well, it's too damn bad to come starting point. I'm going to have to cut them some bitches off, put them in a jar, and set them up on my shelf. And trust and believe, big guy, you've got absolutely, absolutely nobody to blame but yourself for what's about to happen next. You see, my hate, my hate for you goes deep like Jacques Cousteau. The truth is, you are nothing but a disturbing, disgusting, delusional little hoe. Out here thinking that Buckshot would ever want to play Ebony to your ivory. Out here thinking that High Demand would ever allow you to play Sami Zayn to their Roman Reigns. You're fucking pathetic. You're a goddamn parasite with no guts, no brain. You're the fucking leech. You're the real leech here and Buckshot knows it. That's why he doesn't trust you. Make no mistake, you're doomed to watch your history repeat itself again and again and again and again as I prove to the entirety of the world that you are lower than the dirt, than the sediment beneath my feet. But my only real question here tonight is, is your head shock absorbent? Because in about 17 seconds, I'm going to yeet that bitch into orbit. Well, here's what I think, Steel. <laughs> you want to know what I think? What I honestly think? Well, Trent, shut up. Because no one really wants to truly hear from an honorary use, do they? They want to hear from the real deal. They want to hear from me. They want to hear from Buckshot, don't they? And that's right. I'm here. I'm here again, ladies and gentlemen. Here to show you why Steel is a fucking joke. Hell, I might as well be breaking out the tissues for this lifeblood, lifeblood reunion because fuck me, it's boring. I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight after all of this because I'm so fucking sick of seeing these two dickheads run their mouths together. The lifeblood, ladies and gentlemen, the people that try and try and get to gold and fail. Try and try so desperately to get to gold and they fail. Still, your brother failed to win this back. Your brother failed to win my title. And what is he going to do against Saviour? He's going to fail. Still, you're going to watch him fail. You're going to watch him run away like a little bitch after he loses to another high demand member. <laughs> oh, Buckshot, save your little two for one special, huh? Save your, I told you to stay your ass over there. <clears throat> yeah, take that, bitch. <laughs> and Buckshot, well, this shot's for you, punk. <sighs> oh shit, a mini fridge. I hope there's a bottle of water in it. Oh, hell 
hell no. Brady, get behind me. I'll hold him off for as long as I can. You get out of here. Come on. Who wants them? Who wants it first? There's more than enough still salami to go around, motherfuckers. I ain't scared of y'all. Well then, seems as though, Steel, there's four of us and only one of you. Hey, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Y'all forgot about something. Master of Illusion, now! Rookie here still on a platter, all four members of High Demand. What a start to my weekend. Oh, and guess what? I have a prescription that needs to be filled for violence. Bloody, utter, nonsensical violence that can go absolutely crazy. So High Demand, if I was you, I'd be running right now. Yeah, yeah, you better run, you fucking Mitch babe cowards, you fucking Muppet baby bitches. Newsflash, hide a man. This is our house now. This is our show, and this is our company. And we are going to make sure you burn to the ground for your sins. You're either with us or you're against us. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Master of Illusion. I appreciate the fuck out of it. It's good to see people that are loyal to their word for a change. <laughs> Briggy, get up, my man. Briggy, brother, are you okay? Glad to, glad to see you're okay. See, I told you I got you. I told you I got this. You see what lengths I'm willing to go to to make sure we succeed? There's nothing, there's nothing can stop us now, my man. I promise you. We got this. Oh my Jiminy Cricket! What the hell did I just witness? What a brawl to end the go home show of starting point. Unbelievable. We had Dax though. We had Savior. We had Butt Shots. We had the honorary Oost TK3. Then we had Steel. Steel came out to help Jay Briggy and Masses of Illusions. What does this all mean? What does this all lead to? Is Jay Briggy and Steel friends now? Are they back together? All I know is that all the action is going to happen at starting point. And starting point is June 3rd and June 4th. So don't miss it right on the Foundation YouTube page. Now, before starting point, the fine print is honored. Me and my best friend is honored to present you guys with starting point week. A week full of action. And it all starts on Wednesday with the Foundation Awards show. Let's see who wins the big awards that night. And then on Thursday, Thursday night throwdown premieres. And we have three big matches as Candice Wolf takes on Brody Rage. Then after that, we have Damian Wolf taking on Dad of Strong Style. And the main event of Thursday Night Throwdown, we have Dad Snow versus Masters of Illusions. All right? Three stages of Pillars Hell Match with a live promo battle. And, it, and the fun doesn't stop there because we have the... Five print prediction show And we're predicting the winners of starting point And we have a special guest Also in the studios with us To help predict the big winners of the night But you see guys I'm the Bronx Bomber Your blueprint champion And at the starting point Still your blueprint champion And this is the blueprint And we'll see you guys at starting point